Hey guys, Zuljan here and welcome to Orcish Inn. So I saw this game pop up the other day on itch.io and it's like a tavern uh, simulation game. I think it's been around for quite a long time in development or whatever. It's still in pre-alpha, but I'm pretty excited to show it to you today. It seems like I can get a couple episodes out of it and I would like to just give you all a little rundown of what the gameplay is like. So as a description, it's a tavern simulator game that you can take the role of an innkeeper starting out in unsettled lands. You could gather resources and build your tavern. You could do brewing and, and farming and all sorts of stuff. So uh, I guess what we can do, let's see, WASD to fly around. And basically what it's going to allow us to do is kind of survey the landscape and see if this is a place that we want to try to settle down. What is this over here? I don't know what all this blue is. I guess it's it's river water? I'm not too sure. This does seem like a friendly little spot. You can, you can kind of randomly generate the terrain over and over again. Uh, click to settle down in this region or you can change it afterwards. Oh wait, you can't change it afterwards. Aha! Uh, this place isn't too bad looking, honestly. I think we're gonna go ahead and settle down here. Let's go ahead and settle down. Alright. And we're gonna, it's gonna go through a little tutorial mode here, so we'll, we'll go from there. Orcish is pre-alpha state, so please bear in mind that features, mechanics, content, bounds, and polishing are missing and bugs crashing may appear. The game doesn't appear to proper flow of progression yet. I'm still searching for the game in it with your feedback. You can make it... Absolutely weird, adorable, and super slick orc, and tavern, orc tavern simulation. Please check out the blue book icon at the top after this introduction and read the notifications and descriptions of item entries in the building menu as they contain important information. Best wishes, Stephen Collin. Well, thank you, Stephen. So, let's check out the book. This book will teach you all you need to know to pursue a successful career as an orcish brewmaster. Market challenge is watched, and the challenge objective will be shown right here. So, uh, welcome. Dear friend, this book is dedicated to you. Well, thank you. <laughs> May it accompany you in your journey and become appreciated innkeeper. It's called the Book of Challenges. The book full of tasks uh, arranged in the categories shown on the left. Challenges introduce helpful knowledge. Use this scroll bar at the right or the mouse wheel to browse through the description and... Hold on. Uh, the description and the objectives. Some challenges reward so-called knowledge, which can be invested into character improvements. By the way, you can mark challenges as watched by clicking the small I symbol at the right above the scroll bar. Ah, uh, here. Okay. Uh, symbol at the top makes it easier to keep. Track progress because you don't know when you need to reopen the book at, at the time. All the time. This challenge is already watched, indicated by the bluish eye icon. The objectives are always shown at the end of a challenge description, so please turn the page. How do we turn the page here? Oh, claim reward then. So we got two knowledge points, and the knowledge points I believe we can spend on skills. So let's go ahead and spend knowledge points. So these are all the different skills you can get. Uh, they have a good mon. <laughs> good mon increases your maximal hunger by 25% in total. So you've got all these stats down here. You've got hunger right here. You've got stamina right here. There's a couple other stats that haven't been worked in yet. Um, and different ways to gather them. Like naturally you have to eat to be able to refill your hunger. And for stamina you can either sleep. Which I think you can only sleep at night. And you have to have a tent. Or you could fish. Strangely enough. Um, so anyway. Uh, there are a few different things here. Sleepy head decreases the hunger loss during sleep in 10% total. Thinker increases your maximum stamina by 25%. That's pretty good. Um, it seems like that would be. Uh, you know I'm just going to go ahead and click one. So it shows that it costs 8 knowledge to bring it up to the next level and all of these are 4 so it looks like it's just it's cumulative I think that's how you say that word I always have that's one of the words I have yeah I have a word you have trouble with like I had trouble for the longest time smelling spelling maintenance and business cumulative is one of those words that I have to concentrate on how to say anyway uh, we're finished it so um, now we have a new one character improvements knowledge is mainly acquired by solving challenges in the book it's also gained by books you will find on your adventures by reading future blueprints and crafting recipes if you check the challenge book okay spend your gain knowledge points I already did that and we got another character point the hammer axe wandering around finding a nice spot is critical in creating a thriving tavern your hammer axe tool is available at the right by pressing 3 allows you to damage destroyed junk blocking 
your <laughs> almost said junk blocks junk blocking your path pick up objects and gathering resources from trees and stones you have to close the book of challenges first of course uh, objects have oh wait objects have different amounts of health so bigger and heavier things take a couple hits to switch back to your hands just press one. Oh wait I skipped too much uh, so bigger and heavier things take a couple hits to switch back to your hands, just press 1. By the way, to speed up your chopping and smashing, you can hold the mouse button until an exclamation point appears. And such a heavy hit makes chopping much faster at the cost of additional stamina drain. There's no drawback in terms of losing resources when performing heavy hits over the normal ones. Alright, destroy an object, perform a heavy hit. So, um, here's the hammer axe. And uh, can we get some mushrooms here? What about click to damage, hold, wait, left click to hold, to, for more info. Oh, I just picked it, actually. How about this here? Click for damage. Oh, right click. No, I haven't any resin to repair this. You can repair it with resin. Okay. I got a few resources here. How, how do we check inventory? Oh, there it is. Uh, we got some bread in here. We have rope. We have hawker's flute. Boletus? Restores 39% hunger. Oh, okay. We got some more food. Oh, that's the mushroom we just picked. I'm gonna eat that right now. Yeah! Um, the hawker flute is used to call the balloon. Brushwood beetles are everywhere and really enjoy sugar beets for whatever reason. Uh, <laughs> uh, that's kind of cool. And common leaves. Leaves are a mix of different bush trees. The most common purpose is to craft a tent out of them. Oh, okay. Cool. So, uh, let's gather a few things. So I gotta do a heavy hit on, on one of these things again. Let's try a tree. Wait, did I just... Oh, yeah, I selected it when I clicked it. Oh, I can. Alright, how, how, I wanna hit it hard. That was a hard hit? It's like it wants to let me hit it hard, but there's no exclamation point that appears. Unless... I'm not seeing it due to the fact that I, um, oh man, it's taking a lot of, uh, hits for this. Uh, let's see. <laughs> I think we got the quest done. Um, wandering around, you find a nice spot. Okay, we already know that. Uh, claim reward. Apparently we had it. Okay. Inventory and hunger. Your hunger is accessible at the right and the very bottom of the toolbar by pressing either 9 or E. It stores all kind of items. Wait. Yes, yes. Um, I just pressed I, actually. Uh, or did I press E? I'm not too sure. Uh, you can left click on an item to show its details. We already know all that. Uh, your hunger is shown as a blue bubble with a little fish at the symbol screen. Bottom of the hunger drains and empties the bubble and gets filled at red. Instead, your hunger is critical. Try to keep it in the blue area because having a critical hunger can lead to crippling status effects. But don't worry, you can't die. Okay. By the way, one of the items in your inventory is so-called Hawker Flute. It just belongs to the flying trader who will visit you every midday. If you get stuck somewhere and lost in the ocean, you can call him for help for a bit of money. Eat a piece of bread. Man, we just ate. Of course, it's still asking us for to eat something. Our hunger is down. We can eat one bread. We had 80. All right. That was our whole quest. Beautiful. Claim rewards. We got some rope and another knowledge point. We still need one more knowledge point to do anything with, so let's check climbing. With a bunch of ropes in your inventory, mountains are not an obstacle anymore. You can create climbing ropes out of these ropes uh, with the help of the shovel tool and the building menu. To open the building menu, click on the shovel icon or press 2 in the bar. Okay. Building. Aha. Uh -huh. Alright. Indoor floors, colors. Interior, walls and fences, production. Where would this be at? Nature? No, that's some of these. So where would rope be? Oh, wait. No. B? Or is it... It's two. I think production? Wart boiler. These are all things that I can... Composite box, bale, bridge... Underground pipe. Sheesh, man. Hawker's post, tavern sign. Rope. Climbing rope. Okay. How many can we make here? Am I making it, actually? I am not. <laughs> I am not. Where is the rope here? Uh, let's see. 
that wasn't it either. I might have to read this again. Well, they are cheap to craft. Oh, look. Like this, y'all. Okay. I don't know how many we have here. Hey, what happens if I shift click? Uh, object. Oh, that was to flip. Okay. Click to place rope. I have 12 out of 1. Okay. Um, I think you gotta place them like here. Yeah. That lets you go down. Oh, what the heck? I just saw the leaves fly. The graphics and the art and the style in the game is really, really cool. Okay, climbing. And we already know that. Uh, with a bunch of ropes in your inventory. Okay, then open the building menu. Okay, claim reward. Prepare for the night. To sleep through the night, you can build a tent made out of leaves. This needs a couple of resources. Um, you need to collect from nature. Sleeping during dusk or night will refill your stamina, which is important to avoid critical status uh, ailments and all this stuff. Uh, Avoid critical status. Your stamina is shown as a green bubble with a little hammer next to it. Uh, in the hunger bubble. The text is available in the building menu in the same unity uh, ropes. Check what resources you need. Okay. A hundred leaves of any type and five logs. Okay, so the leaves we were getting from bushes, I think. Can trees give us leaves too? There's my exclamation point. I hit it hard. Yeah, we got like 50 leaves, I think. And that's just a little stump. Okay, we need more leaves here, y'all. Tell you what, let's go down here. And we're gonna let the exclamation point come. I don't know how many leaves we got from that. Let's try it again. Bam! Uh, that was pretty good. I'm not even gonna lie. So, can we make the tent yet? Tent. Uh, leaves tent. We made it. We made it. That was easy. Um, oh man, my stamina. Stamina drains over time, especially during the night. Um, fun activities like fishing being rested. Okay, can we make a fishing rod? Let's see. Reaping hook, fertilizer, fertilizer in a bucket. Hands to select the object. Um, tools, I think. Okay, hold on. Let's see if there's a fishing rod available. Leaves tent, hawker post. We already know that. Utility. Color. No, we were on utility, weren't we? This doesn't look like any fishing poles. What about these? Production. Malt box. These are all things it looks like to, uh, to pipe stuff? Sawmill, compost bin, rain barrel. Stone ore yard. What the heck, man? I need a fishing pole. Oh, wait. We do have a fishing pole already. I just saw this. Fishing is fun pastime. All right, all right, all right. Hold up. We got a fishing pole, man. Hole to throw. Uh, all right. Where do we fish at, you think? Can we fish right here? Probably make a pause. Oh, my gosh. It's kind of wild. WASD to reel in. Uh, oh. Oh, I see. I see. Uh, euphoric fishing. You feel euphoric. Catching something will refill your stamina. Uh, that's interesting. Alright, hold on, man. Hold on. I want to I wanna try to fish. I saw it right there where that splash was, man. Whoa. Did I catch something? It's like it starts so I can WASD to move and you see how it starts getting caught right there I can reel in and I got a fish I see a flourish tavern in my eye what I see a flourish tavern in my mind's eye oh in my mind's eye okay overloaded holy cow all right wait we can fix that first of all we're we're very hungry I need to keep an, a better eye on that I did refill my stamina just by fishing a little bit that's cool uh, let's do one more of those all right, and we're still overweight. I wonder, can we like sell stuff to this dude? Hold on, Hawker, we're coming. Why you went all invisible? Is it because I'm under you? Yeah. Okay. Buy and sell items and seeds. Yeah. Okay. And hold shift and click the item to transfer ten units to the selected quantity. Um, 
storage or vendor. Okay. Hmm. Shift. Oh, there we go. I held shift. So holding shift allows you to sell. Ah. Man. Yeah, because I can get logs. That's no problem. Okay, I just sold a bunch of stuff. Tons of it. I figured it out. Beautiful. Okay. So now, what's my little book say? Let's see. Prepare for the night. Yep, we know that already. Uh, sleeping for, the, for stamina. To place a tent, double click on its icon in the building menu and place it somewhere. You could pick it up with a hammer axe and place it somewhere else. Beware that objects are permanently damaged when picked up. Tents and beds allow you to get some sleep when it's dusk or night and refill. Okay. Beautiful. Uh, so let's place our tent. And our tent was, where is that? Oh, build menu, right? Yep, build menu. Oh, we could just leave tent. Like that, like so. Let's place it right here. There we go. Okay. I have zero left on me. That's fine. What happens when we just go in it? Anything? No, it doesn't say anything. Huh, I don't know. Sleeping and stamina. Okay, we built a tent. That's fine. Let's claim the reward. We got six knowledge points now. We can try to buy something else. Night Owl, decrease the stamina loss in dusk. Uh, effective Worker, decrease your stamina loss work by 10%. That's pretty good. Uh, effective Eater, decrease your hunger loss by working 10%. That's pretty good too, but food's easy. Sleepyhead. Let's do Effective Worker. There's some other stuff too. Turtle, increase bleeding resistance. Increase the chance to get an infection status. Oh, uh, that sounds pretty interesting too. All right. Um, so, build a tent made out of leaves. We already did that. I don't think I could sleep at night. Don't we have a new one? Sleeping and stamina. All right. Claim rewards. What was that? A hawker is a flying trader. Okay, we know that. He visits you every midday except on his bad weather. A way to control his flying behavior is to build a so-called hawker post. Um, like the one which was at the location where he dropped you off in the beginning. The last rewarded you with one of those posts. Go ahead and place it near your tent. If you place the hawker, it will automatically fly to the post for the coming visits. If already midday, he probably waits on the one at the start. Um, which is okay. Yeah, we just sold to him and stuff. Um, as far as putting another post down, I don't even know... What it should do here? Do we have to... We already have... Don't we already have one of these? Okay. So... Craft a piece? No, we don't want to craft it. We can just place it right here, though. I think it's turning night. There we go. We got the little hawker post, and he's going to go to it. Check it out, man. Alright, you're just gonna be right out the way. That's cool. Let's check the description. The hawker is a fly. Yeah, we already know that. Let's claim the reward. Trading. Trading is, is crucial. <laughs> we already know that, man. Um, if you want to throw items away, there's a button to do that. It's a red trash can. Alright, we know how to do that. To throw all items of a type away, hold control. Okay, so control is a little bit different. If it's not midday, you can fill the time by sleeping or exploring your area um it's red okay so what do we need to do wait until midday and buy all the seeds the hawker has to offer okay seeds what seeds do you have hawker uh let's see you have yeast you have hop seeds wait no next midday i'll be back you trash you left me. Okay, we could do a little bit of exploring. Uh, let me eat another piece of bread here. Or can I eat one of these fish? Uh-oh. What I got? Food poisoning. Eating food with zero quality will add further food poisoning instances. Every instance of this status effect lows your stamina over time. For a minute and 46 seconds? How did it do to my hun hunger? Uh, okay, how can I tell the quality here? What is what is going on right here? Motivated? You're motivated through the high statuses? Movement speed increases? 
dancing desire? You want to dance, 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 listen to music, restores fifty percent of your stamina. So for, what in the world? I have no idea. I, I don't even know how I got those. Okay. I ate and I have now I have two food points. I couldn't tell the quality. So how can you tell the quality on them? Oh wait. I see. They have star ratings next to them. I totally overlooked that specifically. Okay, what is this, by the way? Let's let's put our little uh, put our hatchet tool on us. We got. What did we get? It looked like we got apples, apple seeds, maybe common leaves. I don't know. Appetite for meat. You have a special appetite for meat. It restores fifty percent more hunger. This effect will disappear after consuming it. All right. The effect is status related. So what can we do for meat? Can we buy like? What can? How can we buy stuff? All right. I gotta put ropes in my hand too, man. Um. Rope. There we go. Now we can actually. We can build stuff with ropes when we get stuck. I guess. Let's build. Let's build a rope right here. Now we can get down right there. That's pretty good. Okay. I can't place anything there. Oh, it lets me. I wonder if there's. Oh, we got quiet. We got really quiet. Okay, so, oh, there we go. I was about to say, is something about to happen that I don't know? It is night time. Um, I think it's night. I mean, it's pretty close to night. Let's go ahead and, uh, and put a rope right here. There we go. So I don't see any, uh, oh, shift and click to flip. No, I don't wanna, I don't wanna do that. Let's put the hand. Shift and click to flip. Uh, I don't understand. Climbing rope. Shift and click to flip. Oh, it's talking about building the ropes. Ah, I got you. Okay, I was like, do we need to flip that log or something? <laughs> oh, man. Alright, well, I don't see anything there. I don't know how we're going to get meat. We might be able to buy some from our guy when he comes back. Other than that, let's see if we can go to sleep in our tent. Press Z to sleep. I'm sleeping. Look, my hunger's going down. Uh, here's your opportunity to buy and sell stuff. Hold on, let's eat some bread. Man, that was kind of that was kind of close, huh? Okay, so I need midday. It said don't miss your opportunity. Okay, so I need midday to come by. Uh, but right now, I guess we can go and try to fish a little bit here. Let's see if I could catch something. Nothing yet. Okay, where did I go before? Did I go somewhere else for my little uh, for my little fishing expedition? What does green water do, by the way? I don't think I could fish in it, huh? I can fish in it. Any fish in here? I don't think so. No fish. I don't see any fish right there either. Oh look, I think that's some fish right there though. I'm behind. I wish I wasn't behind the uh, the status a is, is symbols or whatever. Come on fishy. Bite me. Bite me fishy. Bite my bait Mr. Fishy. Bite my bait Mr. Fishy. It's not happening. It's not happening. Okay, that's as far down as I can go. Maybe the fish aren't biting at the same place anymore. I don't know. I thought that was fish biting uh, symbols, but it looks like that was just like clouds. 
Let's try where we were fishing before. Like right here, huh? Wait. Fish. There we go. Hold to throw. Alright, throw it out. Any fishies? No fishies? No fishies. Oh, I did get a fish. It bit. Okay, this one has four stars. Alright, and I got a little bit of stamina for that. A lot of stamina for that. Holy cow, man. You get so much. Okay, let's buy seeds from this guy. I'm not trying to fish anymore, man. I'm not trying to fish anymore. I'm still not trying to fish. Okay, seeds. We need seeds. Seeds? Okay, what are the seeds here? We've got oat seeds? What kind of seeds do we need to buy? All the seeds. He He's not playing around, okay? So we've got oat seeds. Let's buy them. Hold shift and click on an item to transfer all units. That, that's what we're going to do here. Okay, $538. Holy cow. Uh, but I did get 21 oat seeds. What is this? Hop seeds? We get them to $1,500. How much money do I have? Oh, 39k. Good lord, I'm rich. Uh, sugar beet seeds. Alright. I don't think the rest are seeds. Hawker gilded dress. Empty envelopes. Fertilizer. Yeast. Rope. Okay. Alright, I think we are right now. Okay, we got this done. Claim the reward. Trading is crucial for succeeding in your business. We know that already. Finally, the basic instructions are over, but many challenges are yet to be solved. Don't forget to progress at your own pace and take the obstacles one by one. There's no hurry except for winter, where you will likely starve and freeze. Oh god. A challenge in the survival category will be unlocked, which can make other characters categories accessible step by step your overall goal is to set up a flourishing inn with happy guests good luck with that and we got more knowledge points which we can spend on other stuff i guess well that was the tutorial in a nutshell you guys let me know if y'all want to see some more in the comments below and um or you can just Hit that like button. Let me know if you enjoyed the footage. But um, I think that's going to be it. Now that you guys see how the game progresses. I think maybe another video ought to do. But you guys let me know what y'all think. Thanks so much for watching. I hope y'all enjoyed it. And um, this is Zul'jin signing off. We'll see you next time.